Hi, hello, welcome, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira. This is Monocopes' Soul Healing. All right, this is going to be your weekly reflection for you. I don't have an intuitive message, really. Okay, so let's just see what comes out um, with your tarot, with your oracles. Don't forget to like the video, you guys. Subscribe to the channel. Okay, the message is general, of course. Personal readings, you can book on my website. All right, and that information is down in the description box. All right, show me Gemini, please. Insightfulhealing.com, that's, that's my website, okay? <clears throat> Two pe people have two different backgrounds or you're dealing with someone of a different culture or something like that or there's some kind of culture clash I'm also hearing Dominion um, in one of my decks Dominion is the two of wands all right that's what it that's what it says on the card okay all right let's see you have nature communication yeah Flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So there's some kind of communication clash or difference or cultural clash. <laughs> Nonsense. It's time to talk sense at the bottom of the deck. So there's a difference uh, in communication style here between you and another person, whether it's a cultural thing, a language barrier or what. All right. There's just a difference. All right. Let's see. Yeah, the Queen of Swords, okay, she would come out, right? And the Queen of Swords can be quite stubborn, all right? This is somebody, um, air sign energy, probably likely you. It's somebody who speaks clearly, um, speaks their mind, is honest about, about how they feel, what they're thinking, focuses on facts, strategizes, does not let their emotions get the best of them. Somebody who focuses on the logic, all right, to make decisions and, you know, just generally speaking, how they speak. Somebody who's very intelligent, well-spoken, she can be witty and have like dry humor, <laughs> but the archetype itself is, a, is somebody who is well respected as well she has some kind of authority about her and so let's see and the ten of swords wow so this queen has clearly made a decision here literally this is how the cards are laid out on the table all right she's she's the cut off queen if you will the queen of swords and it's right next to this ten of swords so someone has has maybe they've said something hurtful all right, this Queen of Swords, she could have said something hurtful, chose, um, chosen something that hurt another person. Okay, the Ten of Swords is is betrayal typically, or or some kind of painful ending. I feel like this Queen is, has made the decision to do so. Okay, or or said something hurtful. I feel like there's a big big thing about dialogue and language communication here. All right, which is your like area, yeah. With the Queen of Swords, we have the Eight of Wands reverse. So the Eight of Wands reverse is definitely communication errors or no communication. It's arguing. It's um, I'm getting something about impulsiveness. Excuse me. Eight of Wands reverse is a, is a delay, essentially a delay in communication or um, or no communication. It could be messages going back and forth. If there's just a mix up here, this is Mercury in the reversal. If there's just a mix up here, and again, that's your energy. This is this is just like major confusion or confliction or communication errors. Seriously. Yeah, someone chose to end something here. Okay, that was once valuable or. It's like, I've been trying, I've been trying, I've been trying, and it's just not working, child, so forget about it. <laughs> All right, that's what this is to me. Two of Pentacles reverse is, is um, dropping dead weight or, or dropping out. It's um, something that's not working. It's somebody who's been trying to adapt. They've probably overcommitted themselves. They, they could not nurture something appropriately. It's like, I don't know how to give you what you need or what you want in this situation, or I can't choose. All right, bottom of the deck, Gemini, you have the Four Cups Reverse. 
Interesting. Four Cups Reverse is somebody who's been ignoring an opportunity to move forward and ignoring an opportunity for a blessing. Somebody who has not been interested, but now they are. It's like, okay, sure, I'll take that. I'll take that opportunity for peace. Yeah, Four Cups Reverse, Six of Wands, Knight of Cups Reverse, Six of Cups Reverse, and the Tower. Something, something has occurred here. Okay, I feel like there's been a rejection. Somebody's moving on. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, the Nine of Swords. Let's see what your lesson was this week. There just seems to be a lot of communication errors or something like that. I feel like somebody's pissed as well. Probably that Queen of Swords. If I had to put a finger on it. <laughs> Their lesson, please. serious i mean the king and the queen as we know of this of this same suit is supposed to be a good match right the queen's upright and the king is not that's a problem that is certainly a problem king of swords reverse is a problem and generally speaking but to for them to show up together one reverse and one upright there's definitely a problem here there's definitely miscommunication here all right King of Swords reverse is, is someone who is very selfish, someone who is not not so intelligent, but probably tries to portray it so he is. It's this masculine energy who probably is way far deep in their emotions. And so when they when they get emotional, they can't think they can't think through it. They can't focus on the logic. They can't speak clearly. They cannot articulate what they mean, how they feel, and what they think. They can't articulate what they want. Instead, they get far far deep in their emotions and they probably say things that they should not say out loud or um that they regret immediately after right the king of swords reverse is somebody who is very selfish um and probably abusive with their words all right this was your lesson now whether this was your energy or somebody else's i don't know like i said that i feel like there's a relationship here where where there was like a communication clash period okay um, yeah, and here's the six of wands again at the bottom of the deck and the world card. So something came to a close here. I feel like someone freed themselves from this situation, plainly put. Whether that means it's over, over, or that cycle is over and we're moving into a peaceful place, that four cups reverse indicates that someone chose peace, okay, where there's clearly been chaos. And chaos cannot sit in the midst of a relationship and you call it healthy. All right, I'm going to leave it there, okay? Um, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys next week.